Hi, it's Alan here, your 100 The Vino Club. I promised you last time I'd show you how to spatchcock a chicken, which is the most practical way of, uh, of cooking a chicken for your, for your barbecue. And unfortunately today we've got some barbecue weather. And I'm here because my uh, beautiful little niece, Susie, is um, emigrating to Australia next week. So um, we're going to have a nice big cross-section of meats and stuff for the barbecue. We're actually, because she's going to live in Adelaide, which of course is Barossa Valley country. We're going to be drinking some of this lovely heirloom Shiraz a bit later on. And I'll tell you all about that um, as we drink it. I've just spotted um, in, in the garden where, we are, where, where we are today, I've just spotted the beautiful um, herb garden. So I'm just going to go and nick a few fresh herbs which will enhance the, um, the flavour of the chicken. So, well, oh, sage here. I think this is. That's all that is. It tastes like. Greek basil to me, so we're going to try doing that. And there's some lemon thyme. And some rosemary. You can't get fresher than that. Well, as I said before, this is the um, this is the best way. In fact, it's the only way if you're going to cook chicken on a barbecue to do it safely. Retain all the flavours. So what I've got here is just one ordinary chicken, supermarket brand, if you like. What we're going to do is take a, a pair of strong kitchen scissors and take out the backbone. So if you snip just either side of the backbone, kids are having a good time. I got a glass of Australian Shiraz just to keep the theme going. Okay, just discard that. And just open the chicken out and just snip that bit of breastbone there. So what you've got here now you can see is that you've got the chicken completely flattened out. Get some tin foil. And you can season this chicken with whatever you want. I'm down to just quickly slice of an onion here. Hello, Soph. <laughs> Sophie's going to Australia. So, hello, darling. Just scatter the, the onion on top of the tin foil. Put any herbs you want, any flavour, any style of herbs, doesn't matter. It's your choice. Sprinkle the herbs, or drizzle the herbs quite generously with some good quality olive oil. Place the chicken on top. I'm actually going to add a bit of chili just to spice them, just to spice the um, the salt, pepper, and chopped chilies in there. Give it a bit of spice. More herbs. Be as generous as you want with the herbs, because this chicken is only going to take about about an hour, half an hour each time. More olive, plenty of olive oil. Okay. Just wrap it. So what we're going to do here is to wrap it. Right. Doesn't have to be neat and smart. Just has to have about four or five layers. Don't forget to have a slip of wine as well. Hop! 
Follow me over to the barbie, I'll show you how to do this bit. <laughs> what we're going to do here is we're going to put it on some, on some wood flame. This is totally contrary to what, how you would normally barbecue, but because we've got it wrapped nice and neatly and safely within tin foil, we need to get some flame on the tin foil to brown the chicken on the outside. So we're going to leave that there for probably about 15, 20 minutes, turn it over, then we'll unwrap it and finish it over the hot barbecue charcoal. So then you get everything, get all the flavours that you, that, that, you, that you want and the chicken will be cooked through beautifully and safely. No chard on the outside and raw in the middle, I promise you. But we'll let, let's check it out later. Hi, Alan uh, here again. Back to the spatchcock chicken I showed you earlier on. This is the, um, this is the testing time, really. If you can just have a look at this. I'm just going to um, take it out of the tin for it. Remember, we're going to put it onto the coals in a minute, just to finish it off. But this should be nicely roasted. Now look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, smell. That's 20, 20 minutes either side. On flame, you use wood. It doesn't really matter what you use, but wood doesn't really give it any flavour. But the herbs inside and the fact it's been sealed up gives it incredible flavour. So we're going to put it onto a board. How about that? And we're going to finish it off on some charcoal, which will give us the final flavours. So if you come with me Susie and while we're doing this have a have a little look round pan around the garden and across the views to give you an idea of how lucky we are. So I'll put the eagles on for you. Brow is you Okay. Is that John? Is it John? Huh? Is it John? Yeah, it's Yeah. Now this is um, this is cheating a little bit because it's a gas fire barbecue. Right. The charcoal's in there anyway. So we're going to put that on there. We're going to do it about five, seven minutes either side. So just have a little, a little look at that. Sizzling away nicely. It's already brown. All of the, we can actually take some of the herbs off. Put it on the flames. Problem. Remember, we had all fresh herbs from the garden: rosemary, lemon thyme, thyme, sage, and bay leaves. A bit of chili, uh, freshly milled salt and pepper, and that is the safest and the best and the most delicious way of barbecue the chicken. 